Mintable versus OpenSeas. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at OpenSeas and Mintable, and we're going to be comparing them and seeing which feature makes them better than the other. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So first, I'm gonna be taking a look at OpenSeas, right? So first, I'm gonna be taking a look at OpenSeas, and then I'll go back to Mintable and tell you guys about it. The process is going to be similar. It's just a couple of things that makes these websites different. First of all, OpenSeas. OpenSeas is much more popular than Mintable and it has a bigger market cap. Like a lot of artists prefer OpenSeas than Mintable because a lot of people just simply use it. So let's go ahead and create an account. And creating an account is very simple for both of these websites. The process is exactly the same. It's very simple. So simply come over here onto your profile and just simply click on the wallet and then just simply select the wallet that you want to connect it with so right now i'm connected with metamask over here just choose the wallet and wait a couple of seconds for it to load up just simply sign in onto your metamask wallet and then you're good to go if you want to import it you already have a secret recovery phase or stuff like that you can import your wallet using a secret recovery phase if you don't have one you can go ahead and create a wallet it's really simple just simply click on agree and over here just simply enter in your password and over here just simply click on next and over here you, this is going to be your basically your secret recovery phase so you can go ahead and reveal it and then memorize it and then paste it in the next section of this website and then you're basically done and then you can go ahead and sign in onto OpenSeas and Mintable using the same metamask account so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll catch you guys in a little bit as you can see it's pretty much done let's go ahead and click on next and it's connecting let's go ahead and connect our mask wallet and it's connected and our secret phase is ready and you are basically done let's go ahead and close it up and go back over here and as you can see we're connected and it's done now let's go ahead and create our nft the process is very similar so when we're creating an nft on open seas you gotta have to remember that you're supposed to have a certain amount of balance in your ethereum account now as you can see i don't have one over right now but if you do, you can go ahead and create your own NFT. The reason for that is because when you create an NFT, you have to pay a certain fee to publish your NFT item. So it's basically called a gas fee. So you have to pay gas in order to, you know, publish, buy or sell your NFTs. So which is really important. Now, let me just show you how you basically do that. Just simply click on this image over here and then just simply import your NFT, right? So let me just go ahead and import this one over here just simply enter in the name of your nft you can add an external link to your website or your, your project where people can come over there and see all of the versions of this nft and then you can add a description of it as well and then you can add it to a collection or you can add properties basically textual traits that show up as rectangles numerical traits that show up as progress bars for levels and stats and then you have unlockable content and then you have explicit and sensitive content as well and then down below you have supply over here you can add in the quantity of the copies that can be minted and no gas costs you so quantities can be above one which is coming soon so and then down below you have the blockchain so you over here you have two blockchains you have ethereum and you have polygon now, when you choose Ethereum, you will have a, you know, better time, you know, selling your NFTs, but you will have to pay a certain gas fee, as I said before. But if you choose Polygon, it's a fast gas, it's a free blockchain, and you don't have to pay anything. But when choosing Polygon, not a lot of people use Polygon blockchain, you know, to buy or sell NFTs. So the market cap might be a little bit lower and you might have a harder time selling your NFTs on Polygon, but it's going to be free and it's not going to cost you anything. So go ahead and choose whichever one you want. And then all you got to do is simply click on create. So let me just go ahead and add some other details and then I'll show you what it basically looks like when it's done. So over here, as you can see, congratulations, our NFT has been created. And now we can go ahead and share it onto Twitter, Facebook, or, you know, LinkedIn or whatever, or copy the link and share it with our friends. So this is how it basically looks like. And over here, as you can see, this is how it will look like. So you have your listings over here. You have offers. You have all time high, meaning the price history of whatever. And then down below, you have filters and minted and stuff like that. 
and then you can go ahead and sell it or you can edit it so if you click on sell it's basically uh, you have to enter in the amount you want to sell and the duration of how long you want to sell it for so it all depends upon you and the service fee as you can see is free so go ahead and enter in your amount let's just say that we want two dollars oh wait that's not two dollars that's twenty thousand dollars zero point two two no wait 0 0.002 i think that's fair or actually no 0 0.001 no that's too slow one yeah that's fair okay so 0 0.001 that's it just simply click on complete listing and over here you have two options you have to unlock the currency basically submit a transaction between your wallet trade with your currency that only needs to be done once so basically you have to send some money to your wallet to confirm that it's active and then you have to sign the wallet and that is basically it so if we click on unlock over here we have to click on sign you basically have to transfer at least four dollars worth of ethereum and now we have to sign and uh, over here click on sign in Woot, you've listed hard eyes. So your NFT is listed and that is basically it. See, that is how simple it was. So it's pretty simple, it's really easy. So yeah, now that that's done, we can go over back to Mintable. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. The process was really, really simple. Now let's go over here on Mintable and let me show you how the process is for Mintable. So for Mintable, the process is very similar. All you gotta do is simply log in and enter in your username and your password and then just simply go ahead and connect your wallet so let me just go ahead and sign up so i was logging in and i thought that i should probably sign up a new account so basically i'm signing up with a new account and once you've entered in your email address and password and you've verified it they're basically going to ask you to connect your wallet now you can go ahead and connect your wallet now and save the trouble of connecting it later so i'm going to go ahead and collect now or if you don't want to connect it now and you want to connect it later just simply click on continue without connecting so i'm going to go ahead and connect my metamask wallet over here click on next continue and link wallet account login link account done and boom that is basically it as you can see we are good to go now let's go ahead and mint an item and you can mint an item by clicking on mint an item over here now remember guys as i told you the popularity of mintable is less than open seas open seas is a much more popular and uh, has more creators not saying that mintable doesn't have creators i'm just saying that the big boys all are over there on open seas and some of them are on mintable as well but mainly they choose open seas but mintable is also a pretty good website and i will show you the main difference so as i said before you have to pay a certain gas fee to, to you know mint your items right even on open seas but not on you know mintable so over here as you can see you have two options traditional or gasless so if you turn on the easy mode and turn on the advanced mode you will see you have gasless no transaction needed and stuff like that and you have the second option which is transaction includes all the features but you have to have a transaction needed so what that basically means is that the first option gasless option you won't have to pay any fee but your nfts won't appear in your wallet until the transferred or purchased so that's a risk but you still own it though they just won't appear in your wallet and for traditional uh, all the features are included so remember that so let's go ahead and create an account if we turn on the easy mode as you can see over here we have to create an item and over here no transaction fee it's completely free so this is one of the biggest difference between mintable and open seeds is that you can you mint nfts easily without having to pay any fee so the process is going to be similar i'm just going to go ahead and skip through all of this because it's very similar to as open seas i've already told you just simply enter in the name sub name add the file the description and the price and that is basically it now unlike open seas you can't change a different blockchain so only blockchain that mintable uses is ethereum it doesn't support polygon or any other so you're stuck with that it might be free but you can choose a different blockchain so keep that in mind so once you've entered in all the other details you've entered in the price all you got to do is list this item but before that you can see the authenticity now it's saying it's found some similar visual images but i am confused because the image that i uploaded was just a screenshot of my wallet because uh you know i thought it might be funny but uh they're saying that they have similar images for pngs and stuff like that and that might be true but it's very weird 
But anyway, let's just go ahead and click on list this item. So over here, you are about to send one transaction to the blockchain. Just sign a message to your wallet. Let's go ahead and click on next. Wait a couple of seconds for the uploading metadata to Bluezel permanent storage. So this might take a few minutes. So let's just wait a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and click on sign and over here congratulations your nft has been uploaded so it's basically done so as you can see the process were both similar very easy and the only thing that makes a difference in both of these websites is is that open seas has a bigger market but you can easily mint nfts for free on mintable on ethereum blockchain you can do that on open seas so at the end of the day, it all depends upon you, whichever one you choose. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you have found your answer to which one of these websites is better. And uh, having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.